That's the most conservative of the goyim. Has no kedusha to offer you. Where we are, we want them to succeed. I want them to succeed, and I will be voting for the conservative party. There's no doubt in this country, and I pray for his welfare. He got. She tried. They tried to assassinate him yesterday, and I pray for his welfare. It's very hard to do. But at the same token, I say I don't want to be machnia myself to Edom. I really would like to be independent from Edom. Am Israel should not need anyone. When I saw the assassination attempt yesterday on Trump, I, all I can think to myself is, he got hit in the ear. You thought the same, same thing? thing? That's all I can think about. When you have a servant who doesn't want to leave, the master puts a hole, oh, a hole right in his ear and he serves him forever. What does that mean? It could be Hashem's way of telling us, you think he's your Mashiach? Now, I have to tell you the truth. Again, I never hold back what I really believe. I will be voting for Trump. There's no chance. I will be voting for Trump 100%. However, there are some people who have gotten so far where they think Trump is Mashiach. Maybe Hashem is saying, you think he's your Mashiach? You, you're so much of your stock is him that he's going to save you? He's my servant. I just did the Masiya right into his ear. Could be. That's my personal opinion. Do I still want his, this servant of Hashem to succeed? Absolutely. He's the best we got. He's the best we got, for sure. And the other side is, I think, pure evil. But then we saw his ear get punctured yesterday. We want to get to the point where we are our own gevir. We need the B back. We're realizing in real time now, literally what it says in the Gemara, when Mashiach has a gata come, there will be no one to rely on. In Lanu Amil Hisha'in. There is no one to rely on yet. Let me be Hashem. The king's heart is in the hands of Hashem. Agree. But well, we have to do Hishtadlut. We have to do our Hishtadlut, which is called voting. We have to vote. We have to vote and try to have at least the party that believes in morals that resemble the morals of the Torah. Agreed. But we see the rest of the world is crumbling. I was talking to my father on Friday from New Jersey, and I told my father on Friday, I said, I'm really afraid of one thing. I said, other I'm afraid, just like Yaakov Avinu. I said, he said, what are you afraid of? I said, this is on Friday. I said, I'm afraid they're going to assassinate Trump. Wow. Because if they assassinate Trump, this country is a box of TNT. It's a box of TNT that's about to explode. It just needs a match. The way I see it, this is my personal opinion. The left, the liberal party, has already taken to the streets. They're not shy about it. They're all over the streets. Mostly the right, the Republican, the conservative party, is not in the streets, mostly. Where are they? At work. <laughs> they work, and they pay taxes for the other guys. They're at home. They're not in the streets. And I told my dad on Friday, the only thing I can see that will get every single Republican out of his shop and onto the street, carrying who knows what, is if they literally kill this man because they've tried to do everything else and it didn't work. And I said, Dad, I'm scared. I said, my father on Friday, I, I really hope he's not assassinated. This place will be a tinderbox. This place is gonna explode. And you look at what's going on now. Russia, China, Iran, Lebanon, Israel is, goes without saying, Ukraine. The whole country, you're seeing what the Gemara says play out in real time. Where is a safe zone? 
Everyone always talks about where do you want to move? Should we plan to go to Israel? Where do you want to go? Where is it a safe zone? In Lan Amila Yishayin. We need the Gevir, that's the answer. We have to be our own Gevir, our own independence. That's Mashiach. We're trying to get there. Right now, we still have to do Ishtadlut. Yaakov Avinu, he set into motion. We still try it again with, with Edom. And Hashem said, don't mess. It's not the time. Soon will be the time. We're seeing it happen. Am I telling the practical advice to anyone? No, I don't even know what to say. Only thing I can say is two things. Number one, we keep studying our Torah. We keep spreading love to Am Israel. We keep doing the right thing. That's all we can do. The second thing I would say is, the other thought that came to my mind yesterday, Yariv, besides for the Matseya, I had another thought. I told myself, it's pretty ironic. It just seems to me that most of the tragedies that happen, where everyone's like, wow, did you hear what happened? It's always on Shabbat. It's always on Shabbat or the holiday. It just seems to me, if you are in shul on Shabbat where you're supposed to be, you're not going to be in anywhere near the danger. These things are, <laughs> these things always seem to happen on Shabbat and holiday. This is our safe zone here. We come to, right, whatever happened, the Simchat Torah, obviously it happened on Simchat Torah on the holiday. This happened on Shabbat. The Tree of Life from Pittsburgh was Shabbat also. The Tree of Life was Shabbat. Poway, Poway in San Diego was on Shabbat. It's always the Iranian balloons, uh, not balloons, whatever you call it, drones, it's always on Shabbat these things happen. And one last thing. It seems that we're always catching up on the news. The from Orthodox Jews are always running to the phones after Shabbat. What happened? Catch up on the news. And I don't think it's a coincidence. I really don't. Every time, it always seems we're five hours late to the story. Why? Because I think Hashem is telling us, if you're doing Shabbat and you're doing Mitzvot the way I want you, the news, forget about the news. Forget about the news. You do what you're supposed to do. I don't know, maybe, I could be wrong. These are just random thoughts that fly in my head. We belong here. We need to do what we're doing, and one day Mashiach very soon is going to come. We're going to have to make sure we're at Gavid. We cling to the top Shebe Yansav. We are not Machnia. Don't forget, Mahar, every night when we go to sleep, we mamash have an opportunity for a brand new shot every single day of our life. Hashem should save all of us. We'll make a beracha. In general, Hashem should save all of Kla Yisrael. Anyone from Kla Yisrael that is in harm's way or danger should be saved and protected. And all of our enemies, we don't even know who's our enemy anymore. Someone yesterday was telling me that India is a nuclear power and we have to watch out for India. We have any one of our enemies who are trying to hurt us, should be nullified. We say in the Amidah, V'nafshi ki'afar lakol ti'yeh. Our soul should be like dirt for anyone. Anyone who tries to hurt us should be like nothing. They shouldn't have any success. Have a good week. Only good news this week, hopefully.